You can drag the mouse to look around. Oh, I see. Okay. Double click the guard to get closer. All right. So this is Florence 1506. We're right in it. Uh, hey, folks, before we get started, this is House of Da Vinci. Uh, just a, sort of a more point and click puzzle adventure. And I think let's just get started and we'll talk a little. Double click on the scroll to focus on it. Left click on the scroll to take it. Okay. Oh, so this is just straight out the tutorial. Item found scroll. Left click on the screen to continue. Sure. I wonder who wrote this letter and what it's about. Click. Pull the ribbon off. And then unroll it. Letter from Leonardo. Left click on the back button to leave the inventory. You can always... Okay, fine. We're not going to do that right now. Dear friend, I am sending this message to you through a trustworthy messenger as events of recent days do not allow me to meet you personally. For a long time, I have been working on an extraordinary invention. It is so significant that it goes beyond everything I created before. On the one hand, the machine fills me with pride, but I am also fearful lest the invention fall into the wrong hands. This is the reason why the entrance of my house are well secured. This is my plea to you. Gain entry to my library, where you will learn more. In the mailbox you will find the new optical invention, which I have named the Oculi Infinitum. I know you well, and I am convinced that you are very gifted. I am sure you will discover how to use it. Leonardo da Vinci. Right click to zoom out. Double click the entrance to zoom in. I know this place. It's an entrance to the master's house used by servants. Okay. Oh, no more handholding? All right, fine. The mechanism must be a bell. It looks like its upper part can be turned. Okay. Okay. I see. So this is very... Oh, there we go. This is very close to, like, the room. Oh. Cool. Although, I suppose, with just a little bit more story than, like, the snippets you would get throughout that ga those series of games. It seems that I found one part of the key. It must I must find the other part, which I'm guessing is right here. There we go. <laughs> Item found. Key part. Click. Oh, that's cool. So you actually have to go through and, and assemble all these things. Okay. That's neat. Get out of there. Look for a place to use the key. Well, oh, here we go. Perfect. Okay, and now we turn. Oh, I could have sworn that thing would move in a different way. This must be the Oculi Infinitum Leonardo mentioned in his letter. Where can I test it? Well, probably this door, conveniently enough. Click and drag up on the lens icon to use the Oculi Infinitum. Click the icon to deactivate it. Whoa. Oh, so we can get to see inside things. That's cool. Okay. Right, sort of. No, 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 no. There we go. Okay. No? Oh, sorry. Uh, no, I guess that's not it. I see. It's just got to pop out. Is there more to it than that? Hmm. Oh, there we go. Alright, it was just a little fiddly. Never mind. We had the right idea. Okay, go ahead.
What just happened at the body of Fiorentia? Fiorentina? The rubble from the blast must have it must even have hit the master's house. I hope he wasn't injured. Okay. We'll just keep looking around. You're gonna hear me clicking a lot, mostly because I just don't know what is or isn't uh, relevant at the moment. And since it is very much like the room, at least in the way that you just look very closely at things and puzzles, um, you know, anything can be significant. Anything can be hidden in like a little nook or cranny. Not yet, though. The Master's Library, where he seeks inspiration and gains knowledge. Surely I'll find some clues here to what just happened. This looks like... Okay, well this is... Item found. Scroll seal. Sure. You now find yourself in a library that, with its solid walls, protects the wisdom gathered here for centuries. I am being pursued by dangerous people, and this is the only place where I am able to find peace and inspiration. This room also hides a passage to my workshop, which is known to no one beside myself. In order to discover the way into the workshop, you will have to use your astute mind. Somewhere in here, I've hidden another invention that will help you find your way further. Never forget, the one fool that best allows people to understand the world, a tool that... <laughs> tool that best un allows people to understand the world is the accuracy, consistency, and precision of their observations. As I thought, the master has hidden something which I might help uh, which might help me. I must keep my eyes open. Well, there's a keyhole here. It means this moves in some way. It means this mechanism back here. Look, these are on hinges. Yeah, so this is basically going to be the game. There's going to be some story, but for the most part, the, the puzzle element of it is going to be very close observation. Yeah, this is what I wanted to do before. Three-spoked seal. Okay. Uh-huh. Achievement found. Printing press. Oh, cool. Okay. N through Z. Maybe these are backers, right? This feels like backers. I don't know if this game was kickstarted, but it feels a little like uh, H through M. Right? Hamsta. Helga, Helena, yeah, this this definitely feels like uh, some sort of backers list. That's fine. Okay, we'll look at that in a second. Is there anything else before we focus on that? Window, no. Shelves are numbered, which you would expect in an old library. Okay. Well, his head on is his head is hinged. There's the hinge right there. Okay. Okay. Well, that's pretty pretty clear. Anything up here that's worth us looking at before we do that? No. Okay. Cool. So then let's look at the box. An ivory inlaid box, sure. Oh, but there needs to be a key. Okay. 
I can't see anything here. There's another key up there. Well now. Hey buddy. What you looking at? Okay, yeah, so that's the hinge. Uh, oh, I see it. Okay. Not the most difficult puzzle, but I'm assuming this is just like a little warm-up for us, right? Do this, and then we take this one, and we put it over here. Whoa! There's nothing here too, by the way. Okay, it's a glove. But what this? Oh! Okay, what does this do? Or what does this let us do? Does it let us do the, the other thing? No? No. Okay. Let's look here real quick. Oh, I see. Okay, so we're missing a piece. There has to be, like, the other quarter of the floret here. Hmm. Something here? Ooh, there we go. Oh, I can actually m m manipulate the mechanism. I feel like I'm missing something. Oh no, never mind. Okay. Fine wooden ornament. And a piece of wire. Well, the piece of wire, I would guess, goes... That's a key up there. This probably goes down here, though. Can you combine these? No. But there is a thing that goes back here, clearly. Yep. Yep. Ah, and the other piece of the floret. So we go up here, we go up here. This we put here. Okay. And what do we have? A brass screw. Well, this is easy enough, I think. Yes, 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 yes. Come on. A wooden rose. Hmm. This actually requires a, a real key. No. However... Right? Okay. What? Is there hidden anything? Yes, there is. Oh my god, no. Okay. I see it. Okay, so this is gonna be the puzzle. Okay, all right. And move these two over. Move these two like this. So these are the instructions, basically. Cool. That was, that's the tutorial on how that works. Sort of. Hold on. Oh, can you, can you rotate it while this thing is in here? 
I wonder. I mean, clearly not, right? Let's just do that. Oh, I see. I see, I see. And now we can curve around. Oh, boy. I am dreading this final panel. <laughs> because this requires a lot of doubling back. Okay, okay. Do it like this, we do it like this, and then we move up here. And now we put it all together. Move, move. Really? Oh, Ugh. you know, in one of the one of the other videos, one of the missed videos, I think my question was, what is the type of puzzle that you dislike the most? And this is probably it. I am not a huge fan of these for, you know, just general reasons. And let's move this like here. Yes. Yes. I see. Okay. And we're down. That is a teeny tiny key. How big was this florette? Uh, okay. Leonardo? Okay. Who wants to bet that we're going to get something like that here now? Okay, this goes in. We turn the key. Yeah, exactly. Richly ornamented seal. Okay, and we put this in. No? Nothing? Not yet? Do I zoom in? Hmm. Here's the weird thing. What is the other tool that we... I mean, we got the glove, but... Anything. Oh, there we go. Adjusted ornamental seal. Okay. Now we put this in here, because now it has all the points. Doesn't matter, it would have worked with four, I am convinced, but it's fine. Turn, turn, turn. Oh, and it's a light beam puzzle. Okay. Do this. Just to point this way. Oh, it has to point there. Okay. Bingo. And it illuminates a book. Book with leather cover, which we can open now. A uh, book with leather cover and hinges. Anything? No. Oh. I knew you could do it. The following lines are for your eyes only, which is why I hid them in this secret place. Our enemies pose more and more barriers to knowledge, wanting to know more than they are able to understand. You have been pro you have proven you have an open mind and deserve to see that which must remain invisible to the eyes of others. 
I leave you with my last invention. I named it the Oculi Tempus. It will allow you to look into the past and help in your search for the secret passage to my workshop. Watch for the unusual. Perceive the extraordinary. Keep your mind awake and your eyes opened. I do not need a hint. I found another useful device. In his letter, Master calls it the Oculi Tempus. I must see how it works. Click and drag down. Oh. Okay, so that's the only area that has that sort of thing. Sure. Try to retrace the geometrical shape as accurately as you can. I see. I'm wondering if this was like a, because it's it's very close to the room, whether it was like a mobile game at some point. You are now seeing a short period of the past. You can shift the scene backwards and forwards in time. Look for clues that will help you move further. Hello, Leonardo. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna guess this is where the workshop is. Um... Master's secret workshop. I had no idea it was possible to get here from the library. And who was observing me from above? Okay, so this looks like just a, I mean, it's another room filled with puzzles. So before, instead of getting into this one, let's call it there for now. I know this one's pretty short, but, you know, I think this is just how these episodes are going to have to go. It's going to be room by room. And, yeah. If you guys enjoyed this, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend. Let me know that I'm doing something right. Let me know that you guys want to see more of this stuff. Uh, I would love to hear your thoughts about this game. Uh, what you think about the way the puzzles are structured. You know, are you excited to go forward in this game? There are others on the list we can always do, but uh, by all means, leave a comment. And in any case, I'll see you all next time. Better